Richard from Robotics Trends. I'm down in beautiful Orlando at the VEX World Championship. I'm very pleased to, uh, I met Tim here from Carnegie Mellon University. And, and Tim, tell me about some of the exciting things CMU's doing and particularly your, uh, your application software that you're making available to students to help develop robots. So we're down here at the VEX uh, World Championships in order to support our Robot C software, which is a C-based programming language we developed. Uh, for the VEX robotic system and also other uh, hobbyist robotic systems such as Lego and Arduinos. Uh, and so what we're doing is supporting teams with not only the programming language but also curriculum. And with our curriculum that we develop, we take real world robots that are developed at Carnegie Mellon and uh, sort of apply them and build them into the curriculum so that we can then show students that, hey, you built this VEX robot that can go over and pick up this item and deliver it here. And hey, there's a, you know, an agricultural robot that has to go and pick up 30 plants at the same time and transport them. And so it kind of gives the real world applications of robotics and kind of gives the students the skills that they need in order to take, you know, my miniature version and then see what is actually it's doing in real life and why it's uh, why it's important to learn those things. So is it fair to say uh, the applications helping kids develop better robots are able to program them, virtually see how they'll perform, saving them design cycle time and allowing them to deliver better application focused robots? Yeah, so with uh, some of our new technologies such as the robot virtual worlds, we're allowing students to take the same programming language uh, that they would apply to their physical robots and develop it into a virtual area so that then they can have, they don't necessarily have to have the, the development downtime of the robots being built and the programmers can't work or they can't make modifications to the robot while it's programming and kind of expanding out uh, with that stuff. So it kind of builds into students being able to multitask. You know, I can build, I can program, and kind of using the Robot C software that we've developed, it allows them to learn C programming while doing all of this so that they can then have a programming background rather than, say, with other languages that may be more icon-based or flowchart-based. Give me the 10,000-foot view. Students, robots, CMU, where are we? Where are we in the robotics industry in, the, in the, what I would call sort of the critical mass application of you know students robots and what's coming in the future what do you see happening Tim? so our uh, actually leading into some of our big development is that we see robots in the future especially with the the vex robots uh, not being singletons we see that in real world applications you've got not a single robot working on a problem but rather multiple robots and so our new technology that we're developing and research that we're actually working with some of the, the main faculty at Carnegie Mellon, such as Manuela Veloso, who's the president of RoboCup, uh, working with them in order to create easy to use curriculum that teaches multi-robot multi communication concepts. You know, we're taking, trying to take PhD level concepts and bring them down to high schools because in the future, you're gonna have four robots competing and you're gonna be controlling all four or you're gonna program them all and they're all gonna run by themselves. So you won't even need to remote control them. Very exciting time, Tim. Very pleased to meet you. Wish you all the best of luck at Carnegie Mellon and continue the great work with the kids and the application software and programs. Thank you.